Nvidia have been killing it with their RTX range of graphics cards, but what if you want the beauty of ray tracing on the go? Today, we have the Aorus 15 from Gigabyte, sporting a 9th gen 6 core CPU and that all important RTX 2070 graphics card. The Aorus 15 features all Intel inside, meaning that the CPU, SSD, and Wi Fi are all from Intel. It's also the world's first AI laptop, thanks to Microsoft Azure AI, adjusting the CPU and the GPU wattage on the fly. For a cheaper option, it's available with a 2060 or even a 1660 Ti, though I think the 2070 and 9750H is a nice balance. The 240Hz sharp display simply looks stunning and is perfect for fast paced games such as Apex Legends or Overwatch. It's also great for color correction and editing. I like the general design and it's branded as the best performance laptop under one inch. The display is attached in the middle which gives it a cool look similar to the handheld Nvidia Shield if you remember that. The Aorus logo and two strips on the rear light up which does look quite cool. On the left side, there's a full-size Ethernet port, USB 3.1 Gen 1 port, which supports USB charging, and a micro SD card reader. On the right is a headphone jack and two more USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. The rear has a HDMI port, mini display port, and USB 3.1 Type-C Gen 2 port. The keyboard is pretty solid with little flex, while the screen has slight flexing, but seriously, nothing to worry about. They've cut down the bezels to place a 15.6 inch display into a 14 inch like chassis. Pretty impressive, I'm sure you'll agree. The keyboard is RGB backlit, but only in three zones. There's also RGB on the two front corners, which does look great. You can control the RGB through the Aorus control center. Sadly, the animations are either on all areas or simply turned off. An extra level of adjustment would have been nice. The LEDs shine more out of the edges than through the keys, so if you're expecting extreme levels of brightness, sadly you won't find that here. The keys are spaced nicely and include a number pad and extra function keys for brightness, volume and media playback. It took me a while to get used to typing on it as I'm used to a larger kind of 17 inch laptop, but after a while I had no issues whatsoever. The trackpad is quite wide, very responsive and features gesture support for scrolling. The speakers are located on the underside and in all honesty, don't sound great. There's no bass and if gaming, I'd expect you to be using a headset, especially with the stupidly loud fan noise, especially when gaming. The Aorus 15 uses a 62 watt hour battery, which gave me around one hour and 55 minutes of use using PC Mark 10's modern office benchmark. I've got to be honest, I was expecting so much better from it. Now let's talk about performance. Gaming wise, I was getting between 80 and 130 FPS in Apex Legends on high settings. Of course, more could be gained by tweaking the quality settings, which will look great on that 240 Hz display. The other games we tested with all garnered similar results with over 85 frames per second on high settings. Obviously, with the addition of ray tracing and DLSS, we saw titles like Shadow of the Tomb Raider drop by a few FPS while increasing the visual quality at the same time. Sadly, Metro Exodus with DXR simply didn't want to work. Seriously, Mexodus, what's going on? Gaming aside, this is great for productivity due to the 6-core 12-thread processor and Nvidia graphics, as Premiere Pro, which is my editing software of choice, does support CUDA acceleration. I was able to edit 4K footage with no real issues. I had smooth playback and could scrub the timeline smoothly, even with grading and effects applied. Now, being honest, I'm not overly sold on the AI side of things and think that maybe it's a bit of a gimmick when it comes to real world usage, but in theory, it should get better over time due to the way that it learns from either you or the collective of users using AI and sending their data directly to Microsoft. The other thing that really annoyed me was the fan noise. Admittedly, when in game, you should have your headphones on, but it may drive people around you a little crazy having to hear it. The CPU and GPU peaked well within their thermal limits and the fan ramped up accordingly. I didn't experience any thermal throttling while gaming or working, so the fan kind of did its job. Of course, there is a dedicated button if you do want to ramp it up to max speed manually. Overall, the Aorus 15 is a great laptop that packs a serious punch for how thick it is. There's different models for various price points by changing up the storage, display and GPU options. The 9750H and RTX 2070 SKU is priced at $2,200 plus taxes in the US and around £2,100 including VAT in the UK and it's great for both gaming and productivity. I'll put links of exactly where you can buy this in the description below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do. Let me know in the comments section below, do you use a gaming laptop yourself? 
If not, is this the sort of thing that you'd go for? Till next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye bye. The trackpad is quite wide, very. Gaming wise, I was getting between 80 and 100 FPS. 100 and. 100 I think that maybe it's a bit of a gimmick when it comes to real world. No. I'll put links in the description below to exactly where you can buy this from if this is your sort of, you know. Bleh, 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 bleh.